Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, RBP Gang, RBP Nation, RBP Boxing, RBP MMA, RBP Michael. Coming to y'all with another video, and today I'm going to be breaking down UFC 289. Starting from Diana Bobita versus Maria Olivier, all the way up to the main event, Amanda Nunes versus Arena Aldana. Um, just came back from a 10 mile month, a 10 mile run. Um, it's pretty tough. I never, never gone that far really, um, ever running. So sorry, my voice is like, you know, I'm not feeling the best. Like my body's just, I'm drained, like I'm sore. So, um, but I thought I might as well put out the video. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I think I made this video like at least I try filming this in the morning and then. I hate, okay, if y'all know me, man, I hate making custom my video. Like, I hate, like, I used to do that where I used to, like, if, if something, like, if someone was in the way or, like, making too much noise, then I would, like, stop it and then keep going again, stop it. Keep, but I hate, I don't do that now. I, I, one take, bro, like, if it, if there's, like, something that happens in between, like, I'm gonna just keep recording. So, it, it was, like, you know, like, my little brother, like, he was talking, like, he had just woken up. I was trying to, like, sneak it in the morning and then, like, people would be walking in, bro, like, Stuff like that. No excuses, but this is like the tenth time I recorded, so I don't wanna like I don't wanna like spend too much time. I'm gonna just get right into it. So uh I probably would have went in depth more if this was the first time I recorded it, but nah now nah, bro. I'ma just I there's a couple fights where I'll talk more about, but like I'ma just speed through these real quick. So first fight, Diana but be the first Maria Olivier. Um I went to Olivier just cause she cool to me. I don't know. Bobita has power, but, like, she don't got that dog in her for real. I think Maria Olivier can actually get the job done. They're both they're both really tough. I don't... This... I mean, the Diana Bobita seems to be, like, the slight favorite. They're both, like... You know what I mean? They're both on the same level. Like, they're both coming off losses. Um, they both actually fought the same girl. Um, I believe her name is... Uh, what's her name? God, Gloria De Paula. And she beat her. And she lost to her. So... There you go, Olivier, Olivier, David Dvorak for Steve Urseg. Going with Dvorak because Urseg is coming on short notice. Um, Dvorak's just proven he's a ranked guy, number tenth in the division. Good striking, should be able to avoid the grappling that Urseg has to offer, and come up with the dub. So give me, give me Dvorak by decision. Next fight, Blake Builder versus Kyle Nelson. I'm going with Kyle Nelson because Kyle Nelson, uh. I don't know. A Blake Builder got to prove to me that he's right, really on that. Cause you know I'm seeing these fights. Shane Young, you know, he has a good ground game. He has submissions, but he not really. His striking looks really awkward to me. You know, I feel like Kyle Nelson, even though he's losing to these tough guys, he lost to Jay Herb, Jai Herbert, who's like a top, top featherweight. You know what I mean, Billy Q. I mean, that, those, these guys are like tough guys in the UFC. He's been in the UFC for a long time, fighting like tough competition. Duho Choi, seems to be getting his groove back, and then he has that majority decision right there. So stuff like that happens. Um, but Blake Builder just not proven yet. Shane Young, he looked kind of, he looked all right in that fight, but striking looked really awkward. Doesn't look, uh, definitely looks like he has missing pieces in his, like, in his, um, full fight arsenal. So, yeah, give me Kyle Nelson by decision. Next fight is a hobby versus Arigi Lang. I'm going by, uh, it was a hobby by first round knockout because, um, I think Arigi Lang is a little too wild in the spots, you know, like he's, uh, can get a little wild and, and and it's been helping him in his last two fights you know gets got the decision against jay perrin crazy knockout over camera else um but yeah he can get a little awkward obviously let me if we just look at the guys he fought like he fought a bum in jay perrin no offense and he beat cameron else you know it's not not the best wins and then you look at a guy like sahabi beat ricky tertios beat um draco rodriguez um just really cool and then he has a He's really patient in the way he fights, too. And he also has um his brother in his quarter, Faraz Sahabi, one of the best coaches in MMA right now. So he's going to be able to, like, um, create a plan that's going to help him uh, get the upper hand over a region. Like, so give me Zahabi by first-round knockout. Uh, and then he has power in his hands, too. Next fight, I got J Jasmine Justin Davies versus Miranda Maverick. Um, In this matchup, uh, sorry about that. Oh. Uh, uh nah so Miranda Maverick, um when it comes to her, I'm trying to see right here. Uh Jasmine Johnson Davies versus Miranda Maverick. Miranda Maverick, she's like really uh nah, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't really like I ain't I ain't really do research for this fight too much, so 
Um, now Miranda, I mean, she alright. She got like she got good grappling, all this stuff. Um, I think she should be able to, um, you know, uh, use her wrestling, maybe use her grappling, you know, get the double get stuff. That's I don't even know why, but she's a big favorite, so I'm gonna go with her. And then uh, Nasruddin Imavov versus Chris Curtis. Um, yeah, man. Uh, this fight, I I don't really know which one to like choose from, uh, cause they're both really good. Uh, but this matchup, I just kind of went with uh, Imavov, just cause I feel like we didn't see like the best of him for Strickland. I did pick Strickland in that matchup, by the way, but um, Imavov went against tough opponent. I know Curtis and Strickland both train together, so that could be also like a, a reason to pick Curtis. But I feel like Imavov, he's really good, man. Like, he's got hella potential. He's only getting better. He's young. He's gonna come out here have a showcase performance. Dagestani, I like get, get it done. So give me him evolve. And then Eric Anders versus uh, Mark Andre Berio. Um, give me Berio. Uh, just cause I don't. I think Anders is a little too inconsistent for me to pick him. You know. Uh, and then you know Berio, if he can get out of the first, second, third round, he can't get taken down. But if he can get out of those first couple of rounds, he could really like, you know put it on uh, his opponents he gets better as the, as the fight goes on so i really like that for a fighter i'm picking so give me a mark on the video and then next fight dan you got first nate landwehr um i've seen a lot of people pick nate landwehr in this matchup um I, I was i was like i was thinking about picking him at some point but you get you guys just just levels ahead of lane landwehr you know it's one of those things you know like then landwehr has that you know like he has that aura around him, like you know, he's the guy. You know, he had that Onama fight. He had that uh, fight with um, Austin Lingo. He's on like a streak. He's talking his trash, you know, all this stuff. But um, at the end of the day, he's just not. I mean, he's not. He's not all that good, you know. He's not all that good. He gets his levels ahead. He, we saw he beat a guy like Damon Jackson. Um, they lowered his level of competition, and I think they landed was a little worse than Damon Jackson. You could even argue. So I don't know if they fought. How they fought? I ain't recent history, but. Um, yeah, man, I, I just, they're not comparable, like, it's levels. I mean, maybe if Landwehr could, I'm, I'm going to be cheering for Landwehr. I'm going to be cheering for Landwehr. I want him to win, but, um, yeah, I, I, I think they're not comparable, honestly, like, when it comes to skill. Like, unless Nick Landwehr can drag and Ige into a war, that's the only way. But, yeah, give me Ige by decision. I think Landwehr's durable enough to where he won't get knocked out. Um, next fight, Mike Malley versus Adam Fugit. Um, give me Adam, Adam Fugit. Just because I love the way he was talking at the press conference, have a chip on his shoulder. I think these guys are a lot, like, closer match than people are uh, giving him credit for, you know. Um, if he's just a veteran, uh, or I don't know if he's a veteran. No, he ain't really a veteran. But <laughs> he's had two really good fights in the UFC. He's a little older. Um, took Michael Morales, you know, to the third round. Landed some good shots on him. Took him down at some point, too. And then he knocked out a guy. So he has big power, very durable. Um, and then Mike Malley's a pretty, um, like, Improving. I mean, he has he's two fights. Um, big power. That's really the my big takeaway that I saw from him. And like good ground game, so he's good everywhere. But I feel like people are writing off Adam Fugit. Uh, a lot of pressure on Michael Malley. Um, I think he's gonna get beat here. You know, I think uh, Adam uh, Fugit's gonna be standing in front of him in round three, and Michael Malley's not gonna know what to do because he's saying he wants to get him out of there in round one. Kind of overlooking his opponent. I think that could work in uh, Adam Fugit's uh, way. So give me him by decision. Next fight, uh, Benil Darius versus Charles Olivier. Um, yeah, man. I mean, I just, Olivier is finished. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's all it really is. Um, he's not going to win. He's going to get knocked out round one. Um, his title reign, the Makachev fight really opened my eyes. You know what I mean? Because uh, I picked Olivier in that fight. I picked, I picked Olivier in every single fight since Ferguson. Every single fight up until uh, he lost to Makachev. I picked him in the Makachev fight. I've pretty much gotten all his fights right. Like, I picked him against Chandler. I picked him against Poirier. I picked him against Gaethje. I, I love the guy, but I got to put my most on the side and pick who I actually think is going to win. Logically, I think Benil should win. You know, like he's um, he's going to be able to stick with him on the feet. He has a really good hands. He'll fall him to the ground if he gets a knockdown, really big power. Um, you know, Olivier is just not, not, the, not, not that he's not the same. Like, he's still, this is the same Olivier that beat all those strikers, though. I think that's the issue, that these guys can't. Um, uh, Makachev and Benio, now these are grapplers who will fall into the ground and they have good hands. That's that's gonna be the really big issue. And I don't buy that Olivier wasn't himself. He was saying that, like, oh, I wasn't myself against Makachev. No, you were you were yourself and you lost. You gotta accept that. You gotta watch the tape and you gotta see what you gotta actually do. So 
you know, I don't, I really, I don't like that from Olivier, and he's gonna get exposed on um today, tonight. So give me Darius by round one knockout. It's not gonna be close. Um, yeah, man, Makachev, Makachev, Makachev beat him bad. Darius gonna beat him worse, and I don't think that's like Darius. It's just like after you get beat by Makachev, and then you don't want to watch your tape, what you did wrong, you know, you're gonna get beat worse. So give me Darius by round one knockout. And that main event, I don't got too much to say. Nunez the GOAT. She's going to beat Aldana to oblivion. She's going to, you know, she wasn't able to, she wasn't able to finish, um, I, you know, maybe we will go by her by submission, actually. Round two submission. Um, she, because, you know, what's, what's her name? Pena, Pena got knocked down a couple times, but she just wouldn't go. She wouldn't get out of the fight. I think she'll be able to choke out Aldana. Once you, you, it's sometimes hard to knock people out, but. Especially someone like Aldana who has good hands, but on the ground, she's a fish out of water. She got taken down by Holly Holmes, who's a, a boxing champion. Not even a, the grappler and not on the same level as Nunez. So, give me Nunez to finish off Aldana. And uh, continue her reign as a go. Probably retire, too. There's not too many fights out there. I, mean, I, I think, I personally, I'd love to see Pena 3 trilogy just for the storyline. But I know a lot of people don't want to see that. But what else is there, you know? But, uh... Yeah, man, I kind of speed run, uh, speed ran through all those. My locks, I love Nunez, I love Benny, uh, liking uh, liking Ige, uh, Maverick, and Dvorak. Just throw, throw them in the parlay, and then my my best underdogs, I like um, I like Mario Olivier, I love um, Kyle Nelson, Zahabi. Uh, let's see. Uh, and Fugit, those are my underdogs. I like, especially Fugit. I, 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 I'm, I'm hoping, man. I, I have a good feeling he's gonna get it done. That's, that's my like, guy. I'm really looking towards. So, give me leave a like on the video, subscribe. Um, probably gonna be dropping Tio Fimo, Josh Taylor, last minute predictions, coming out soon. No face on in that one. Just, just gonna be me talking. But um, yeah, man. Leave a like on the video, subscribe. IBP gang out. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it.